everyone is welcome to attend the pitch right so manoj are you ready yes all right yes. manoj you are not able to i'm not able to present sir uh, <clears throat> hello one second one second one second can you try, uh, try again now हेलो एवरीबडी Uh, at Weber, we are building integrated electrical systems for EV drivetrains, allowing EV and battery pack OEMs to just focus on mechanical integration. And we want to be top cable supplier to Indian EV ecosystem. We are a team of thirteen with co-founders co from IIT Khadakpur, and we have been involved in building EV uh, subsystems, critical subsystems, from over past five years. and uh, we have we are a cross functional team uh, with embedded engineers pcb design engineers mechanical engineers uh, and a very tight team of shit uh what problems we have identified are uh, currently all electrical subsystems are uh, imported from separate vendors from china they are not built to be integrated together and then when when you go on to integrate them there is a substandard integration system reliability is questioned and uh, there is a lot of decrease in performance and you are not able to even service the subsystem because they are not well integrated so for this uh, we have a full stack ev drivetrain with battery management system battery charger and motor controller all cohesively working together as a whole and all built from scratch both hot hardware and software currently we have the widest bms portfolio in india designed for two wheeler and three wheeler applications uh, we have uh, six, up to 60 as bmss right from contactor based systems uh, from 100 to 250 ampere to uh, uh, low current systems to 50 to 35 ampere and these have been very tightly integrated with multiple tier one two wheeler and three wheeler oems right now uh, in india so how we work is we bring our expertise in electrical uh, and embedded software and uh, we work with ev and battery pack oems with their uh, skills in mechanical integration and together we are able to help them to build great evs quickly and easily we win because uh, we are uh, our pr products are built from first principle design approach uh, we are very cost effective we are able to integrate our systems in just one or two weeks we have two times better thermal design 10 times better short circuit protection in our bms and uh, we are able to pinpoint faults within the subsystem we have a very good traction because uh, our systems are built right from scratch over uh, type over uh, years of like at least two years ex of experience uh, integrating our systems with multiple tier one oems both both battery pack and uh, two wheeler oems like ampere vehicles simple energy we have tier one battery pack oems in our, our portfolio uh, through which we are exclusively tightly integrated in the whole uh, production line uh, we have uh, more than 10 active pilots we have it sales by by pipeline of more than 10k bmss per month starting next 3 to 4 months and we're introducing charger in as pilot test starting q3 of 2023 we have best balancing uh, current in the industry uh, we have best thermal design uh, we are even able to operate battery packs in parallel without even software <coughs> intervention uh, out of the box uh, because our bmss are hot pluggable uh you don't need to rely on can communication to operate battery packs in parallel so this greatly increases the reliability of the integration uh we are able to handle more than 1000 short circuits at full soc we provide 400 milliampere balancing current which is industry leading uh and when our uh, charger and motor controllers are fully developed uh, we would be uh, able to uh, provide bet uh, best stall motor stall detection and the fastest motor stall detection and best power factor in the charger while being extremely cost competitive uh we have a lot of partners like iket has been a incubation partner texas instruments is ha our hardware design mentorship uh, napino and star engineers uh, there are ems partners and aro is a supply chain partner so 
uh, we have made sure that uh, we are good to go right from the production uh, and supply chain point of view also uh, uh, while we are ensuring best design uh, in in the in our subsystems that's all for me join the revolution of ev makeover with us okay thank you uh, manoj you can stop sharing the screen uh, we can if uh, uh, bardant motors is there uh, request you to please share your screen and start the presentation okay so i'll request uh, um, vibhav agrawal uh, to please uh, share your screen and start your, uh, start your presentation please Vaibo, can you hear us? Hi, Vaibo, can you hear us? Yeah, I can. Uh, I am not getting an option to share my screen on this. Just uh, wait. Yeah. Please try now. Uh, still not getting an option. Okay, just hold on. Vaibo is still uh, not in panelist. Move to panelist. Um, Viva, please try now. Uh, should I log in and log out and log in again? Because it's still not giving me the option. Click, click on Viva. Near to my. Ah, uh, yes, there. Move to panelist. Yes. Viva, please try now. Yeah. Now it's Vibo, can you share your screen now? Yeah, sharing, sharing. Okay, great. So please try to finish your presentation within uh, three, four minutes. Are you able to see my screen? Yes, we can. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Baba Agarwal from Intellicon Technologies. We are being supported by iCreate, Bits, uh, Pilani, NASCOM, IIT Delhi, and Ministry of Information Technology. Uh, we are developing two fast chargers and smart chargers for two-wheelers and three-wheelers and EV. Uh, EV industry, as you may all have uh, seen, uh, it's going, uh, it's growing leaps and bounds over the past two years. Essentially, driven by two-wheel and three-wheeler segments. Within L within a three-wheeler segment, it's the L5 category, which is the loader category. The technology that we are trying to develop is essentially DC fast charging for two wheelers and three wheelers, which is currently prevailing only for four wheeler segment in and uh, has been uh, in within two wheeler segment. It's only been developed by Aether, uh, but that's only relevant for its own vehicles. It cannot it is not compatible with any other vehicle. So we are trying to liberalize the technology to all the other two wheelers and three wheelers in EV. Uh, current problem statements are that the uh, two wheelers and three wheelers take about four to five hours to charge. Uh, the current ch uh, chargers are unsafe, unreliable, and they cause damage to the batteries. The current chargers are non-smart, non-communicating either with the vehicles or with the users. Most of the chargers are unfortunately yet being imported from overseas without any service or warranty support. Opportunities for us, we are trying to bring down the charging time from four hours to five hours to maybe maximum to 30 minutes to 45 minutes. We are trying to bring in chargers which are safe, reliable, and can, and can uh, uh, communicate both with the users as well as the uh, batteries. Our chargers will be Wi-Fi and IoT enabled, and the user will be able to schedule their charging time uh, to be able to shed, uh, to be able to take the benefit of the differential tariffs, which the government of India is soon uh, about to roll out. The first charger that you see, the first picture that you see uh, in the slide, AC charger, a low-cost AC charger. We have recently sold that design, and we are the technology partners for the next two years to RPG Group. Uh, uh, RPG Group uh, uh, will be giving us royalty on this, as well as they have bought they have bought the design and the technology up up front. The the other two pictures are the prototype version of our first AC two uh, fast, fast charger fast charger for two wheel and three wheeler basis, which we got uh, orders from Okinawa, Okaya, Battery Smart, and many such companies, and we got a we got a we got POs from such companies asking for the charges. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the, uh, this is our prototype or the beta version. We got orders from uh, bigger com uh, big companies such as Okaya, Okinawa, Battery Smart, and Inverted Energy. We got, we have, as we speak, we have recurring orders for almost three crores per month uh, from these companies. But we are not, we did not service them, uh, and we waited for our charges to be fully ready and uh, commercially viable before we rolled them out. Uh, 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 
AC Type 2 charger, as I mentioned, uh, has been sold to RPG Group uh, in the 3.3 kilowatt segment. Uh, this is our management team. Uh, Professor Beam Singh uh, is a stalwart in the power electronics domain. He's our uh, he's our mentor and guy and technical advisor. He, uh, I have worked with companies such as Microsoft and Godfrey Phillips uh, in the strategy and international business division. Uh, Arna Mitra, who's also co-founder and CTO in the company, has worked uh, with, uh, as CTO in P2 Power and NTPC prior to joining in Telecom as a co-founder. He is a double electrical pass out from IIT Kharagpur. We have other members in the team, both in the engineering division as well as in the admin division. The AC low cost charger has been sold to RPG Group, as I mentioned earlier. So portable fast charger for two wheel and three wheel is likely to be out by December or early next year. Post which we'll be integrating these chargers into a charging station for public charging infrastructure and taking out uh, uh, charging stations for two wheel and three wheel fast charging stations. And in the final stages, we'll be integrating these chargers into swapping stations for two wheelers and three wheelers and taking out fast charging swapping stations for two wheelers and three wheelers. Uh, this is our competitive landscape. Uh, the first quadrant on the left, we, you see that's the AC charger quadrant. We don't want to be present in that sector, this quadrant ourselves. We are going to be selling out the design and the, the cards maybe at the max. The remaining three quadrants is where, going to be, where we are going to be present. The smart and portable fast chargers for two wheelers and three wheelers. We only see EVQ point as our competitor. Uh, Spark Minda Group of uh, Spark Minda Group has recently bought uh, a stake into uh, EVQ Point. Uh, fast charging station for two wheel and three wheel. Ather is the only competition, but that's only Ather is only making charges for its own vehicles. And swapping stations, uh, we will be we'll have competition with EVQ and Sun Mobility and the likes. However, uh, these companies are also likely to take our chargers to integrate in their swapping stations since our chargers will be capable of charging the batteries faster. Prospective customers, uh, likes of these customers, including these customers, will be our uh, will be our buyers. Uh, so in fast uh, for uh, so in portable fast chargers, we'll have the likes of Eero Electric, Piaggio, Okinawa, Opias. For fast charging public public charging uh, 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 charging stations, uh, we'll have charging point operators such as Magenta, Voltaic, uh, Charge Zone, for them. And for swapping stations, we'll have PSUs uh, looking for our swapping stations. Uh, production, we're going to be an asset light company. We are not going to be uh, putting up a huge unit. We are essentially going to keep the design quality and R and D, uh, uh, with us, uh, while uh, the labor intensive work will be done at uh, selected EMS partners or the electronic manufacturing service partners across the country. So we have identified EMS partners in North West and uh, as well as in the South, uh, we will be supplying the components. We'll be supplying the uh, testing equipments and we our people will be, de people will be designated and at their locations to keep a quality control over the boards that will be assembled in these plants. GTM in the first two to three years of the uh, commercialization. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Please quickly finish in 30 seconds. Sure. Uh, we are going to only be present in B2B market uh, for the first one to uh, two to three years. We'll be selling only to the manufacturers and uh, public sector you know, companies. Phase two is when we, once we see there's enough after sales market, we're going to be launching a dealer and distributor network and phase three will be launching international markets where you have concentration of two wheelers and three wheelers. Uh, our projections are for the next five years, we'll be touching 800 crores uh, with a gross margin of 250 crores, uh, while the industry will grow uh, at 103% year on year. These are our current associations. Uh, on net solar, we tied up with them for uh, renewable energy uh, power charging stations. And uh, inverted energy, we are testing our uh, chargers with their batteries and uh, vice versa. Yes. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thanks, Vaibha. You can uh, stop sharing your screen. Yeah. Uh, next is Smith Patel. So, just to make uh, 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 information available, this was the number five startup in your list. Okay. The first one was the second in your list, Vaibha. And this was fifth in Telecom. Now we are taking the third one, which is the ninth in your list, Team Tinkerers. Ashish. Let's start presenting. Fast charges for two minutes. Sorry, Samuel, yourself.
हेलो मैं ऑडिबल यस यस प्लीज स्टार्ट प्रेजेंटिंग नहीं सबको दे डिजाइन कंपनी रिगार्डिंग वेहकल एनालाइजर सो एज यू सी इन दैब ऑल्सो Uh, I developed the vehicle analyzer, which can measure the, all vehicle parameters like voltage, current, power, and uh, uh, temperature of the battery and motor, uh, and analyze it and uh, save that uh, data into the memory card. And also, uh, this data can uh, be IoT based, so uh, all the data can be forward to the cloud, and we can analyze the data after uh, testing. So, main the uh, two purpose of this device. Uh, one is the testing for OEMs and startups, and under use is for uh, regular user of the uh, EVs. So right now uh, we can uh, uh, measure the health of the vehicle, uh, how it performs, and uh, all the efficiencies of uh, motor and BMS. So I developed this device. Uh, so we just need to connect the battery and the vehicle here, and it can measure all the parameters of the vehicle. Uh, also, we are uh, um, talking with uh, Tata Strider for bicycle for the pilot testing of our product, and also uh, deliver a paid pilot for our product to about uh, five to ten OEMs. That's all. Okay, thanks. Uh, next, next one. Yeah. Next one is Excel. Oh, uh, Runda. Number fourteen in our list. Now, please share your screen. Start presentation. हेलो एम आई ऑडिबल हेलो यस फ्रॉम द यू आर ऑडिबल प्लीज शेयर योर स्क्रीन स्टार्ट योर प्रेजेंटेशन अ या वन सेक इज माय स्क्रीन विजिबल यस विजिबल गो Okay. Um, hi everyone. My name is Randa Namje. I'm the founder of Excelo Innovation. Uh, I'm here today to tell you about the ultimate EV solution that we are building for the last mile delivery segment. Uh, I am co-partnered in this venture by my co-founder Rabaz Riza. He is uh, responsible for product development and product architect. I am uh, myself handle the sales and business development at our company. Our uh, final aim is to drive the electric transition of last mile delivery as well as commute. we are backed by some amazing uh, institutions out there uh, as mentioned on the slide uh, we started with the problem of uh, lcv segment uh, essentially because uh, of uh, they are the most abused vehicles in the market and they are responsible for higher operational cost as well as the carbon emissions uh, of course there are ev players uh, but then uh, performance anxiety and infrastructure issues are still there with the clients uh, so at axelo we built our first product uh, essentially on the uh, skateboard proprietary skateboard technology that we have built in house uh, it's uh, a technology wherein the motor and the battery packs are incorporated in the floor bed of the vehicle uh, and this uh, skateboard technology is also allowing us to build different uh, vehicle architectures on top of it out of which the first vehicle architecture that we built was the lcv uh, which is shown in the uh, slide it's a 2 metric ton uh, payload carrying capacity truck having 200 cubic feet volume as well as 150 km uh, range and 50 km per hour uh, top speed uh, on this uh, particular product we have worked on technologies uh, of uh, battery uh, pack as well as active battery cooling mechanisms 
uh, we have uh, tweaked the, this technology in such a manner that we are using low rated motor coupled with our in-house design gear differential, uh, which has allowed us to attain higher speeds. Uh, and it also allows us to use smaller battery packs, giving the same amount of range that a bigger battery pack might have given. Uh, and uh, this allows us to give uh, higher payload capacities as well as uh, longer range. Uh, I'll share the video at the end. Uh, we are, intend to target the Indian markets first, which is a $26 billion market growing at a CAGR of 65%. Uh, grow, we intend to target high growth rate market uh, first going towards medium and low in the later phases. The first target is B2B markets, later on B2C and then mobility as a service. Uh, major players in the B2B markets would be the logistic companies, uh, ground support equipments from airports as well, and river trucking companies. Two models that we are uh, following are the rental model as well as the one-time sales model. We also intend to increase the life cycle of the vehicle in such a manner that the manufacturing of the vehicle is uh, done uh, in a way wherein we can extend, uh, we will be revamping the vehicle after eight to 10 years of rental usage and converting into a food truck for uh, vendors, street vendors, and uh, also caravans. Um, and uh, there's also a post sales revenues, um, like any other OEM, AMC servicing and spare parts. Uh, in terms of competitors, of course, there are uh, the diesel players. Uh, in terms of EV players, there are there's EVH as well as Tata ECV. e has also introduced a retrofitted product. Uh, but our cost per kilometer is the lowest in uh, in terms of all these uh, competitors. Also, our payload carrying capacity is almost double uh, of all these competitors. Uh, in terms of the total cost of ownership, our product uh, cost is slightly higher than the diesel uh, competitors, but lower than the electric competitors out there. Um, in terms of the product benefits, of course, the gear differential uh, design is uh, making us uh, take take the edge and the in-house design battery packs as well. Uh, this allows us to give higher cargo load. Our team is energetic and young. Me and Arbaz have been working together for a decade now, and uh, we have seven more members in the team right now. Uh, in terms of low-cost operations, we have uh, built a prototype uh, on a very small amount of funding. Uh, also, uh, we intend to keep our uh, operations as satellite in terms of we will keep the R&D and assembly at our end and the bulk manufacturing will be done the by the contract manufacturers. Uh, I'm sorry, this slide needs certain changes, uh, but uh, we have raised around 1.1 CR till date. Uh, we intend to raise 8 CR more out of which 1 CR have been already committed by certain HNIs. Uh, the ongoing uh, fundraise will help us in doing the R&D as well as the ERI certification and set up the uh, small assembly line unit. This essentially are the uh, milestones. I will share the video right now. Um, are you sharing a video, Brinda? Yeah, I I am open to questions. The video can be played in the background. So uh, no questions, um, uh, We are uh, uh, panelists are uh, listening right now, and they, we will see you uh, shortly after the presentation. So no question answers for now. Okay, so this, this is the video of the product. If that's okay, I'll be sharing it. Um, we have also iterated on this product more, and we have developed the cabin uh, more efficiently and introduced doors as well. Uh, this was the first prototype that we built. That's a flat bid. Uh, our clients are able to uh, uh, build a different uh, cargo carriers in, in the backside of that flat bid. Uh, that's my co-founder driving the vehicle inside the campus. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you, Runda, for the presentation. Thank you. Yeah, so this was uh, 14 number in your sheet. Now we are taking MCS Cargar, which is 12 in your sheet. Uh, Raj Anupam. Raj, take you to share your screen and start the presentation. Keep it to three, four minutes only. Sure, sure. Just give me a mo moment. I'll share my screen.
Hello everyone. I'm Raj. I'm co-founder at Kargar. I started this company in 2019, and this is my second venture. And uh, so, so what problems we are taking care, uh, looking at? So installing a charger, it is it is a very expensive affair. So once it is fixed, it is fixed. So currently, the current utilization of a fixed charging station is less than 5%, and the maximum can go up to 20%. Uh, I'm talking about the DC fast charging. In India, if you see, there are the, the 80, 80 hours in, in a year, people are looking for the, uh, for the parking. So imagine what will happen, what is happening where we do not have an adequate parking space. So we come up with a technology called mobile charging station, where we have developed a uh, on-demand charges a service platform where um, our mobile charger, a DC fast charger, can come to your location and charge you and go away. It can charge your vehicle in less than 30 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes. It depends on your vehicle. And we are 100% uh, in grid independent, and we we uh, the users can be uh, user can hail our service. So this is what the charge uh, charger service platform looks like. So there is an application where a user can uh, put in their uh, details. The drivers can put in their details. Our, uh, our, uh, our service can be hailed. Sorry. Yeah, Raj, go on. Yeah, our service can be hailed to your location. So we are on demand. We can it can be scheduled. It can be uh, it can be monitored and managed through your mobile phone application. And there was there would be a value added services where while we are charging your car, you, we can also do the value added services like cleaning, maintaining, and value added uh, value services. So this is the current market size where uh, the uh, the target market uh, happens to be 0 0.58 billion dollars by 2030 there would be uh, 35 million uh, electric vehicles in uh, four wheeler in the in the market by 2030 but what now what is now so we uh, uh, as per our uh, data collection and the uh, Bahan data we have collected 51000 electric vehicles are present in our country right now so which is giving uh, a uh, total market size of $41 million. And we are staying in Ahmedabad and Gandhinagar, where 1,200 electric vehicles are there. Uh, and, and our business model is very simple. We users can be uh, subscribed to us and can hail our services just by pay per use basis, subscription basis, and they can take evaluate services. We can also advertise uh, OEMs and other things on our truck. So our value proposition, we are on demand, we are ultra fast DC fast charging, and we are we can be hailed anywhere, anytime. There's there's no waiting. You have to don't have to wait at the charging station while we are getting while vehicle is getting charged. So we have developed a proprietary technology of uh, charging uh, charging your vehicle, and our go to market strategy is. We have been uh, collaborated with one of the electric vehicle fleet operator in, in the state, uh, in, the, in the city of Gandhinagar, capital EV, which is having a fleet of 100 electric vehicles. And we are also in talks with a couple of uh, clubs, corporate, uh, corporate offices and dealerships for selling our uh, model. So we are, we are pr very proud to say that we are one of the fifth company in the world doing this. And uh, there's one more company, uh, like, and we are, highly accessible we are the, the our setup cost is very less we are having a pro, uh, proprietary modular charging setup we are efficient and we can also provide uh, value added services so we can save 2.2 uh, 2, 2 million metric ton of co2 by 2030 and we have stg of 7 and 13 so still now we have raised fifty-six thousand uh, dollars and developed the prototype and uh, we are in uh, and we have patented this technology and two patents are in process and we will be operating, uh, we will be starting our operations in the first quarter of 2023. And as we are uh, right now testing the hardware. So we have a team of uh, uh, 12 people right now, me and my co-founder, me, Rajan Upam and uh, Kevin Shah. We, I take care of the technology, innovations and the business side, whereas the Ke uh, Kevin look at the financials and operations. So he has a degree from New York University and he has a uh, experience of a startup uh, in New York based startup and raising series B. And I have a I have experience of eight year experience on, uh, of a product development in electric vehicle technology. I developed my first company I started in 2015 and I sold it in 2018 with and collaborated with one of the biggest conglomerate in India. So we are uh, 
yeah so we are also uh, we have an advisor uh, abhinav kapadia he is taking uh, he is the cfo of pdeu Umka, dr omkar jani he is the ceo of reliance solar and dr. mr akhilesh magal he is taking care as a product manager in the us yes we are here we want to make electric vehicle adoption easy uh, and we have been uh, recognized incubated and supported by following of the uh, amazing organizations so we have recently uh, also accelerated by techstars uh, usa and taiwan and i would like to show you a video that can you know give you a uh, gist of how it works may i so uh, uh, very quickly if you want uh, but yeah, it's uh, but just please, 50, 50 seconds yeah yeah just seconds. give me a moment Okay, Raj, thank you for the video. I think uh, we got the idea. Yeah, thank you. Now, thanks. Yeah. thanks a lot. Stop sharing the screen. Uh, next one, I would like to call in Greenspin. Uh, sirs, in, uh, madams, uh, third in your list. Ashish. Siddesh, please uh, share your screen. Go ahead. Please keep your presentation within five minutes. Shidesh, please unmute yourself. Uh, I think my voice is audible now. Yes, please go ahead. Okay, hi everyone. So I'm the co-founder at Octarange Technologies. Uh, just we incorporated seven, eight months back. And we are specifically focused on developing one of the best battery pack technologies for the global scenario. Our team is consists of material scientists and engineers, and we are advised by Dr. Dhananjay Kuma, who himself was a, a serial entrepreneur in EVs in the Silicon Valley. Uh, we also are supported by uh, very amazing institutes, as shown in the PPT. Uh, so basically, uh, what our uh, end goal is to focus exclusively on the battery pack technology, and in the coming uh, seven years, we want to establish ourselves as what Amar Raja and Exide have done it in the lead acid industry. We want to do it in the lithium ion industry. So our uh, eventual objectives is to establish a 30 gigawatt hour plant and 300 megawatt hour uh, lithium ion battery manufacturing plant. To focus on the problems, there is only three fold problems that we perceive right now. And if we are able to tackle this problem through our technology stack, uh, I think the road ahead will be a smooth for us. Uh, so what when I say the technology stack, these are the constituents of a technology stack that uh, we have developed, the structure, the thermal management, BMS, IoT, and the analytics. All these are interlinked, and we are already in revenue by uh, uh, through a customized technology development of this technology stack. And parallelly, we are right now establishing a 300 megawatt hour, uh, battery manufacturing plant at uh, Pune location. Or uh, uh, moving ahead, uh, Yes, so this is the 10 to 15 kilowatt hour battery pack so uh, that we have developed uh, this battery pack, uh, the black one that you see the thermal management unit and on the right, uh, that's a ba battery pack stack. So this is ideal for your L5 uh, vehicles, L5M, L5 and the three wheeler uh, as well as in the N1 category. So uh, this is a 35 kilowatt hour pack that we have developed for a client uh, named as BTI Technologies. So in fact, we are one of the few startups who have developed uh, high voltage and high uh, kilowatt hour battery packs. 
and uh, we have already this battery pack is going in production in the december uh, next uh, in, in in the next january and we will be supplying the battery thermal management unit the one that you can be uh, seeing on the left side uh, apart from that we have already developed 1 to 5 kilowatt hour battery packs for two wheeler applications and all these are smart, uh, smart ba uh, battery packs that are aligning with the tech stack that i have uh, shown uh, before one of the major usp is that we have developed a fire retardant coolant uh, based on the, uh, synthetic esters and transformer oil which has a very low viscosity so basically our end goal is the battery pack will be a fire proof water proof as well as obviously the dust proof and what we have uh, so another aspect is the uh, software applications that we have developed so uh, the dashboard uh, range that you get on your vehicle so we have developed applications to consider all aspects the battery health vehicle health loading on road traffic and combining all these features will just display a number to you like 30 kilometers remaining or 45 kilometers remaining and that will be the most accurate one in the industry right now and we are doing doing paid pilot project for the two wheeler uh, in order to demonstrate this application basically real time range prediction and uh, what you can see here is are the extreme emphasis that we are given on the modularity so it is for aquatic applications like uh, 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 ships boats as well as jcb tractors and energy storage so our stacks can be arranged accordingly and as as uh, with their application uh, intents and control we want to exert end to end control right from the cell to the recycling so that is possible through our the tech stack that we have prepared uh one aspect that we always uh, want to ensure is that our battery pack is giving this cycle 3500 cycles and 30 minutes so we have already done uh, this cycling swh testing on two wheeler battery packs and soon we will be doing it on the high kilowatt hour battery packs as well our revenue stream is uh, four faced uh, it's a direct either we can directly sell the product say the battery pack or thermal management unit or uh, or it will be a licensed uh, to the oem and right now our uh, company is functional uh, is operational and the cash flows is coming through the customized technology development uh, so i think that's it uh, from my side and in, if you want to have a video of what I, exactly the application that we have developed i'll just showcase it uh, so here uh, the application you are just entering uh, where your intended location is your starting point end point uh, once you enter that so from pune to lonala i'm going right now uh and i so all this will be uh, automated uh, people need not manually enter it uh, the initial uh, percentage the ac gauge at what air conditioner the vehicle is operating uh, the auxiliary system will, uh, all those aspects are taken right now what i am showing is uh, it's getting entered manually but actually it will be uh, directly taken from the battery pack bms itself and it what it will give me is that actual distance what i'm having and my predicted range so what we want to have is to, uh, so that the customer is pretty much clear on what exactly his vehicle is uh, bound to give so that was about the software aspect and the hardware aspect i think i'm uh, done from my side okay shridhar okay. thank you so much you can stop presentation yes the next one i would like to call in is the first one uh, vardhan motors mima mimansha so that's a next one is the first in your list vardhan motors हेलो हेलो माइक इज़ नॉट या यू आर ऑन म्यूट प्लीज अनम्यूट योर शेयर प्लीज शेयर योर स्क्रीन एंड स्टार्ट योर प्रेजेंटेशन प्लीज Manisha, can you hear us? Yes, yes, I can hear you. I'm trying to unmute myself. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, uh, loud and clear. Please no? share your screen. You have five okay, minutes. Okay. Please start your presentation. Okay, my screen is visible. Not yet. It might come. Hello. Up. Not yet. Okay, it can might you come. Can you hear me? Up. We can hear okay, you. Okay, you're not. Okay, okay. Can you see the screen? Not yet. So, are you able to share your screen? 
yes actually i am able to share the screen okay so i suggest uh, we will uh, will take you later on you please uh, uh, sort this out uh, somebody from my team will in, in touch with you okay we'll take you later on no no please, please wait for a second just okay Can yes. you see the screen? Yes. I'm no so sorry worries. for the delay. No worries. No worries. Uh, take your time. Uh, go for five minutes presentation. Please start now. Okay. So uh, we are an electric uh, two-wheeler manufacturing company, and these we are, we have we have made two variants actually. One is high speed and one is low speed. So this is the picture of the high speed variant, and this is. These are the spec specification. The range is 180 kilometers, and it goes in top speed of 40 km, 110 kilometer, and reaches 40 kilometers, 0 to 40 in 3.9 seconds. And this is our low speed variant vehicle, and this is for logistic purposes. And the specifications are given here: speed is to the 40 kilometer, and range is 75. And these these are our some achievements. We went to Gorakhpur recently, and we met Yogi Sri Yogi Adityanath, and Ravi Kishan also rode our vehicle, and these are the our market segment. Sorry, the, this is our market segment: the Gen Z, the commuter, and the commercial fleet, and the eco freaks. Uh, so these are the some problems in current uh, uh, EV vehicle, EV industry that uh, there is range range anxiety and battery life span problem, and basically in uh, EV bikes there is lack of uh, thrill and uh, acceleration. So we provide this solution. these are the list of solutions quick power train and uh, we have regenerative braking system we have also filed a patent on this and we provide we provide uh, we fulfill the uh, lack of uh, range anxiety and this this is our total market size can you see and uh, this is the picture of a high speed model this is the picture of a low speed model and these are the competitors direct competitors like hero electric and revolt and indirect competitors like ic engine vehicles honda and hero and this is our revenue model b2b and b2c and this is our team and we have a team of six people belonging from different state and uh, skilled in different skills thank you so much Okay, thank you so much, Vimansha. Now uh, uh, you can uh, stop sharing your screen. Okay. The next one we'll take uh, is the fourth one, uh, ED Technologies. You <laughs> like. Yeah. So, hi, Rajat. Uh, hello. I'm audible. Yes, Rajat. You're audible. Hi. Uh, a very good afternoon to all of you. My name is Rajat. Uh, hi. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Rajat. Uh, I'm from Eri Technologies. I have shared my screen. I hope it is visible to you. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, 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 so. I'm one of the founders of Edi Technologies. Rajat, uh, which includes the Rajat. Sorry, can you please start from scratch, uh, from the first slide, please? Bhavesh, Rajat, can you hear us? Hello, Rajat. Next one, the agenda. What's next? Next one. Hmm. Any phone call? Any call? Kitan is next. Please, yes. Ashish. Next is Atron Automotive. What are you going to do? Sahil. 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 Oh. So, uh, meanwhile, uh, this got resolved. I think we let's 
taking the another one atron automotive which is the sixth in your naka sheet rajat ne phone karo to internet mein sort out kar dena next layer is hello yes uh, i request you to please share, uh, start your presentation uh, you have 5 minutes okay uh, uh, hello everyone we are atron automotive we are the electric mobility solution provider uh, in the current ev scenario now uh, the problem in the current ev scenario is that there is underdeveloped ev technology which is leading to various fire incidents and mishap happenings what do we mean by underdeveloped ev technology is the technology which is there in in the current uh, scenario which is the products which are there on the roads do not have any research or engin engineering background on the product most of the products are just bought from china and uh, provided to the customers and uh, uh, they do not uh, provide the sustainability or even the durability or the, even the quality as well also in process of reducing the cost of vehicle the product is provided with substandard performance parameters like low range low speed high charging time and the major problem is the sourcing of the ev components because of uh, lack of availability of uh, ev components in india the uh, choices are very low and uh, people are uh, people are uh, selecting the, uh, the choices which are uh, uh, at your, uh, uh, which are at substandard performance parameters so to solve this problem we are developing our own ev technology which is designed and tested for indian condition and the product is also designed to reduce the overall cost of vehicle without compromising the performance or quality the products which we are developing uh, the firstly is motor the motor which we have developed has the efficiency of more than 97% the topology which we have developed for the uh, rotor of the motor is patented and is scalable to wide range of power ranges that is we can develop a 1 kilowatt motor to up to 200 kilowatt kilowatt of motor without changing any major uh, changes in the rotor or the topology of the motor also uh, uh, since the topology is in, uh, developed in such a way that we utilize 100% of our magnet the cost of the total uh, the total cost of motor is reduced to up to 25% also we are able to increase the range of uh, the electric vehicles to up to 15% now uh, as we have achieved the efficiency of 97% on the motor level to retain that efficiency on the system level we have developed our own controller which uses dual mode of commutation in the lower rpm range we use a sensor for commutation and in higher rpm range we use uh, back emf so uh, Uh, we uh, we get higher starting torque as well as greater per performance and efficiency on the high range uh, now uh, we uh, we have uh, we have tested our motor and controller even uh, we developed a battery bag for our, our own manufactured electric uh, motorcycle prototype we have tested it, uh, this product to uh, around uh, 1000 kilometers and we validated our uh, system and uh, the reliability of our system we also tested our motor and controller on a test dynamometer where we validated our efficiency the power which we are getting the peak power 30 minute power and all the uh, tests which uh, tests which are required for the certification so the competitive edge we have over the competitors is the technology which we are developing which is a patented technology and which is designed and tested for indian conditions now since government is imposing strict rules for localizing the components we have a, a great opportunity at this moment to connect with the b2b uh, companies and supply them the cost effective solution which we have the uh, ev components is not only limited to automotive sector but it can be also used in agriculture uh, industrial even aviation as well and has the total uh, market size of 122 billion dollar uh, if we talk about just motor and controller controller it itself is a 80 billion dollar market now current uh, about the current sales funnel and the gtm strategy since we are uh, new in this market we uh, we want to develop a, a creator presence in the market we are uh, doing that through social media and networking as we are uh, incubated at certain incubation centers through their mentors who are already connected at oems uh, we are trying to uh, get some product demos at their vehicle now we have uh, got interest from uh, various companies like kinetic green mahindra euler autonext and 3ev as well and uh, i can say mahindra is in the next step uh, uh, in our uh, uh, in our sales funnel uh, we are uh, currently providing samples for krishigati grewal one electric motorcycle and mahindra uh, krishigati who is the uh, who is the agritech startup has given us the order quantity of 1000 uh, units and uh, plus a five year contract for all the motor requirements which will they which they will have along with that one electric motorcycle also has given us the order quantity of around uh, 300 uh, 3000 units and we expect to uh, 
target around uh, more than 3000 3, quantities in coming 6 months as an order uh, with five uh, with uh, contracts with four uh, oems and we expect to generate more than 5 cr of revenue in the coming 6 months uh, currently we have bootstrap and invested around 3 uh, 30 lakhs till now and uh, in our next phase we are uh, raising around 4 cr so that we can uh, have our uh, assembly line set up ready for the uh, mass manufacturing uh, in the initial phases we are going to give our uh, manufacturing as a contract uh, on contract basis but uh, we would have the assembly line in house uh, the majority of the fund will be used for developing the uh, developing this uh, this uh, assembly line uh, sample uh, deployments and uh, sales about the team, I'm a BTEC mechanical engineer from VIT Bellot and during my engineering days, I was a part of Formula Student team where we built a race car from scratch. You can see the background image. That's the race car we built in our engineering days. Even my uh, CTO has a similar experience where he developed uh, electrical and mechanical powering systems for the race car. He also uh, worked at Michelin as a tire designer and analyst and have five years of R&D experience. Uh, we have Uday who has three years of experience working at three different startups where he was uh, responsible for developing the operational strategies and data analysis. Uday is also ARIA password, so he has the hands-on experience of getting the uh, components certified through ARIA. And in the technical side, we have uh, Mohit Borkar who has four years of experience developing the embedded systems. So uh, we have the uh, we have all the management and uh, engineering setup uh, in our side. About the mentors. Uh, uh, we are incubated at AIC Pinnacle and through them uh, we got Mrs. Rashmi who is the former director of ARI as our technical mentor and uh, Ritesh Thakur who is the CEO of Ecomobility who recently launched their electric bus. He is also helping us with our management and technical side of our startup. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, awesome for the presentation. You can log off now. The next one uh, we will take is the Grimot which is the 8 in your sheet. Remote mobility. Ashish, uh, please let in Varun. In Korea, Varun. Testing on the wrong Okay. Varun. Hi Varun. Hello, hello everyone. Yeah, I'm just sharing my screen. So yeah, this is Amang. Uh, I I request you please share your screen, start your presentation, and please try to finish in four to five minutes. Sure. Yeah. Uh, hello everyone. I'm Varun from Gramout Mobility. So uh, we took part in Evangelize last year. Uh, so it, it, it was a fun experience. Uh, so I'll just start off with what we do at Gremont, right? So uh, we are a motor controller manufacturer. We mostly work uh, with OEMs making light electric vehicles. That's typically rickshaws, scooters, uh, bicycles, and automated guided vehicles. And uh, our primary focus has been low voltage solutions. That's, that's less than 60 volts. And the biggest motor that we have is roughly about 28 kilowatts peak. Uh, so that's the sector that we're looking to target and uh, cater to. Right. Um, so in terms of technology, we are cu currently focused completely on radial motors. Uh, we use IPM technology. So, uh, uh, you know, you get slightly better performance with that. You use lesser magnets and, uh, you know, supply chain is more robust. That's what matters. Uh, we pair them with advanced FOC controllers. So we, we don't make the controllers completely in-house. We, uh, we have like uh, a partnership for the power electronic side and we do the entire software side in-house which is where the magic happens and brings out the efficiency of the motors. Uh, the entire organization Gremont is uh, designed for rapid iteration and doing a lot of new product development. So uh, over the past one or two years we've done a lot of work in uh, being able to collect data and automate uh, parameter tuning on controllers. So it's more of process innovation, more than technology innovation, but that, that's what we've been doing. Uh, so at the end of the day, it's cost effective technology. Uh, so last year in Evangelize, we came second for this. Uh, so we developed a clutchless uh, geared hub motor. So this is for the e-bicycle application. And uh, we basically got rid of the one-way clutch and replaced it uh, with a, a static piece. And uh, the entire regen rate of braking uh, was enabled in the bicycle uh, sector by doing this. Uh, so we also did a, a few innovations in the controller side with uh, electronic coasting and things like that. 
so unfortunately this is not in production yet because of certain supply chain issues but uh, we will eventually be launching it uh, right now the same product with the one way clutch has been launched and we have supplied about 50 to 60 units uh, on the field running with uh, two customers right now yeah so this was the uh, advantage of the clutchless motor so it is like lighter lower in cost and it drove up overall efficiency by somewhere 3 to 4% and uh, so since evangelize last time i mean we did a lot of endurance testing on this and uh, we did get like 3 to 4% gains uh, so it's it's not huge but it it was uh, satisfying to see so yeah so this is our range of motors uh, so we have up to 3 kilowatts for the scooter and three uh, three wheeler segment right uh so the same motors can be used in agvs and agri agritech startups so th- these are in production uh, right now so we sub- uh, we have 150 motors on the field with two customers again uh and we're pretty happy to say that we're ready uh the production of these and start supplying lot much larger numbers to multiple customers uh the up to 28 kilo uh, this is the 10 kilowatts rated this is like a higher power segment uh, this is still under development we have like a few prototypes gone out to major oems uh and then we have the other two smaller motors so we have the bicycle hub motor here on the right so this we are currently selling with in the clutch version and we have a small 100 watt motor just meant for auxiliary applications uh, uh in small robots and industrial uh, uh say, industrial applications yeah so we can always do, uh, do a lot of customization so i mean the dna of the company is built like that to customize motors for the oems So these are our bicycle motors, uh, customized with like custom polyurethane wheels or tractor tires, and uh, this is the same 1.2 kilowatt uh, designed for chemical compatibility uh, for fuel cell applications. So that's the kind of DNA that we have. Uh, so all of these come with compatible controllers where we do the software programming of the controllers in house, but the uh, controller hardware itself comes from partners. Yeah. So we. Yeah. So the team currently we've grown to 21 people. So it's about uh, seven people in R&D. Uh, the remaining are split between production, uh, sales, marketing, uh, support, uh, accounts, uh, things like that. Right. Um, yeah. So 10 plus active trials, three production customers. We've delivered about 200 units motor controllers so far. Uh, I, I wanted this number to be much higher by now, but I think we had a lot of supply chain issues that kind of. Uh, it uh, took a little while to resolve but hopefully next year uh, next year we target to deliver somewhere around 5 to 10000 units of the bicycle and 1.2 kilowatt accumulator right uh, right now we are production ready we can do about 1000 numbers a month uh, we are completely b2b uh, we don't have any ca- consumer sales uh, so yeah so the bicycle sector is something that very aggressive in uh, and we want to capture a large part of that market and followed by the 1.2 kilowatt three wheeler and two wheeler segments right so that that's basically about us so i think i'm yeah thank you okay yeah thank you varun um, thank you for the presentation you can log off now uh, this was number 8 in your sheet now we'll take uh, number 10 in the sheet team ambler and minimally joins i'll just like to mention that yeah i'm audible right yes hi there fun you can share your screen and uh, yeah. just hold on just a minute yeah just a second yes there okay fun. so my yeah. screen is visible right yes visible you have 3 to 4 minutes please go ahead done 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 So hello everyone I am from Tekinon Mobility we are providing uh, customized electric vehicle solutions right so if we talk about the electric vehicle and automotive segment these are some well known facts like where uh, pollution higher operating cost of a particular uh, eco friendly vehicle and all uh, because of which uh, the whole automotive segment is shifting towards uh, electric vehicle segment and all right but what about uh, the middle class family the businesses who cannot afford this kind of vehicles right ke jin logo ko uh per initial cost of the vehicle is completely high for that particular for adoption right and apart from that if we talk about the middle class family then uh sabse pehla yahi motive hota hai ki bhai lithium ion batteries ke sath electric vehicles are safe are really safe or not right so uh this is the reason why uh, we are not like uh, generating uh, like we are not shifting towards electric vehicles right 
so what should be a proper solution then solution should be an electric vehicle obviously apart from that the lower initial uh, lower initial cost of that electric vehicle should be there right and apart from that agar in dono ki baat inko rehne bhi dete safety safety point of view uh, lithium phosphate is the only option where uh, jo accident ke chance hai jahan aag lagne ki chance hai wo bahut kam ho jate hain sirf wo dhua chhodta hai agar accident ho bhi raha hai to right so what should be a solution this is our solution where we are developing ambler 250 ambler is our brand name so we are providing 75 kilometers range at uh, like uh, storage facilities and detachable type and all batteries so yahan pe pure ke pure sare components indigenous hai and apart from that we are also selling the like uh, this kind of customized designs as well where we are providing this kind of design to startups some individual components and individual Sarpan, we lost you. Sarpan. Sarpan, can you hear us? Hello. Sarpan, uh, uh, can you hear us? Sarpan, हेलो माय ऑडिबल सर यस सर बट नाउ यू आर ऑडिबल या सो लाइक कैन आई रिपीट द होल प्रेजेंटेशन और फ्रॉम समवेयर यू लेट मी प्लीज गो टू नंबर 6 एंड प्लीज क्विकली फिनिश इट yeah correct so these are some projects we uh, had done uh, with some kind of startups of food delivery startups and all uh, so these are the whole indigenous component uh, kits as well we are providing so apart from that if we talk about the target market then we are targeting the daily commuters who are like uh, commuting 5 to 35 kilometers on daily basis right so who are come from middle class family as well and if we talk about the competition competitive advantage and entry barriers we are providing like uh, we have uh, then we are having a last more and uh, last more advantage where we are having patents designs and uh, designs registration as well uh, we are not uh, just an oem we are co created user centric customized design solution providers for uh, startups uh, inter company and inter campus transport uh, transportation and mobility as well so we are having a usp in design and customization as well so apart from that if we talk about uh, the market size and growth then we are having like 6 uh, and 1/2 crore of uh, target uh, by next year and if we talk about the traction generated so far is like we are also having some kind of aroma innovate and uh, conquest which pilani uh, wins we are secured top at 10 and top 100 position in uh, that particular event apart from that we are having ssip and nidhi ir grants uh, from which we just developed uh, our prototyping and all, all. we are having a uh, incubation support from pdp iic i hub and i create as well and apart from that we are having like uh, 55 plus orders we are in which uh, we are having 3 plus orders from individuals as well and we are in early stage pilot testing and uh, prototyping with uh, tata strider team uh, where we are providing electric vehicle and indigenous indigenous components with uh, particular kit for electric vehicles so this is a fund ask where we are like uh, going to uh, like burn the 1.25 cr in next uh, 18 months uh, in marketing publicity is product development and all and apart from that we are also having some ask in market uh, about uh, government university collaboration inter community transportation inter campus transportation and all we are now also looking for ecosystem development we are we are providing the indigenous components uh, apart from that our vehicle some ecosystem development parts of uh, charger and charging facilities as well so this is my team uh, where we i am darpan kadu founder of techinoid mobility uh, i am done uh, like i have done my mba from nmms mumbai uh, dhruv patel and shil patel is taking care of design development operations and all and dipen pandey is taking care of electronics engineering 
and apart from that if we talk about advisors and mentor anem mashruwala and pratik patel are from pdp irc where uh, we are we are uh, getting the business mentorship and technical mentorship from them and shantanu chaturvedi is from uh, i create uh, who has like uh, giving the mentorship in uh, electric vehicles domain and technical mentors so yeah that's it from my end so these are some uh, photos and all uh, where we are tried tested and validated and also providing this kind of vehicle uh, to the customers so yeah that's it from my end uh, if you are having any question then you may uh, ask okay thank you darpan no questions for now we'll thank get you back so much. to it thank you yeah thank you thank you so much thank you everyone yeah yeah the next one we'll take in is the project number 11 project luna in the sheets uh, ashish um uh hello shivam shivam can you hear us hello shivam yes my audible yes you are audible yes, uh, please share your screen on start your presentation within 4 minutes please complete okay Please try again. Otherwise, uh, uh, we can swap you with another another one. Uh, just a second, just a second. Yeah, I'm going to see other screen. Uh, is it visible now, sir? Yeah. Yes, visible. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Shivam Tiwari, founder of Luna E-Mobility. Uh, we have founded it uh, around uh, in in the month of june very recent uh, we are the uh, probably first electric two wheeler platform of india uh, we are supported by i create uh, what we do with luna is uh, we make some oh, background we make the uh, uh, we make uh, shivam uh, there is a background noise sir. coming in can you go to the silent place ओके सर ओके सर वन सेकंड सर इज इट ओके अ आई डोंट शुड वुड यू ओके प्लीज गो अहेड नो वरीज ओके थैंक यू सो वी आर इंडियाज फर्स्ट इलेक्ट्रिक टू व्हीलर प्लेटफार्म व्हिच प्रोवाइड्स द प्लेटफार्म टू टेस्ट योर दी provide the platform for the innovators developers and uh, other startups or industries to test their uh, sub components and components on the platform we develop uh, the de platform we all know is uh, the name is luna so uh, here is here are the problems with the ev right now uh, we all know that what is pollution and uh, so on but the main focus we are uh, uh, doing right now is uh, affordability the, uh, we all know that ev is not so affordable right now and the repairability uh, because the uh, maintenance charges are still high then the ex expectation what the middle class is expecting right now and the last thing is the safety we all know what happened in the last few months uh, with the ev sector so we are focusing on the safety segment also so uh, at luna what we uh, deliver is we uh, deliver the platform and a vehicle at starting at just 2299 the uh, our base uh, uh, model uh, electric vehicle uh, starts with uh, 23000 price and uh, it is as easy to repair as a cycle you can repair it at anywhere uh, in the uh, 
like uh, your nearby cycle repair shop or anywhere else and the spare parts are so easily available that you can find it anywhere in the, around it and the battery type we use are lead acid batteries not the lithium ones because we are uh, concerned with the safety purpose the lead acid are much more safer than the lithium ones so we are using lead acid batteries uh, okay so uh, i am the founder and shivam tiwari with uh, with I am a mechanical engineer with five years of experience in product designing and development, and I also I have experience in three D printing. I was doing freelancing for last six years, and I have experience in product designing. So, okay, what are what is our journey? We started in the February twenty two with a basic design and development of an electric bike based on BLDC hub motor. We developed it successfully and ran it on our campus. In the month of in the month of May, we developed the first model. We developed the first model based on PMDC motor based vehicle. We attained a maximum top speed of around 17 kilometers per hour with uh, with enough torque that we required to uh, push the push or pull the our load we are carrying on the bike. In the month of June, we made our some iterations uh, on it. And made some, and made the second variant of Luna with the max speed of 25 kilometers per hour, and the load cap carrying capacity was uh, around 140 kgs. In the month of July, we developed four working prototypes with minor iterations and sent uh, sent them to uh, users to get their uh, experience about the uh, uh, product, how is it running, and about anything like a normal EV. In the uh, in the month of August, 15th of August, I create launched Luna at uh, I create campus, uh, and in September we uh, uh, we are proud to say that we have developed a uh, sample uh, to showcase it to a corporate uh, named Electric Fire in Lucknow. Uh, they asked us for a sample, uh, and and uh, after that they have given us uh, the order of 25 pieces on the basis of that uh, sample. And uh, from other, uh, uh, and there is one more so that uh, who is uh, asking us for ten more order uh, or pieces. So this is the okay. prototype we have developed recently in the month. Hello. Yeah. So this is a prototyping slide, right? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is the okay. prototype we have uh, developed in recently. Uh, Is there any other slides yes, specific yes. to show them? Please show. Otherwise, we would like to uh, uh, go to the next one. Considering that okay. there is a time constraint that we have. Okay, okay, sir. Uh, okay, sir. Uh, Luna is the most affordable e-bike available in the market recently, with, uh, coming with 250 watt PMDC motor. All of our components and some components are designed and developed in-house and are going to be patented very soon. The vehicle platform is developed in so that uh, in such a way that it acts as a test tool for other innovators and startups. The, the we have developed the the model we have developed in the month of September comes with a max speed of 25 kilometers per hour and payload of around 120 kg 180 kgs and uh, the range of the vehicle is 50 kilometers. The motor we are uh, the motor controller we have developed in house is uh, overload protected and overheat protected, which makes it uh, very safe to ride. And in future, we are uh, we are focusing on upgrades like regenerative braking system and tracking, uh, GPS tracking, shock absorber, different modes like speed mode, cruise mode, CVT, keyless start button, upgradation. And we are also focusing on uh, upgrading it to the cargo model. Uh, we are working on it, and hopefully, we will very soon uh, come with this. Okay, so our target is currently the consumer B two C model, and the second one is B two B model. Focusing on campuses, delivery partners, warehouses, and in the consumer section, we are focusing student farmers, old age people, and daily commuters are our big market. We are also focusing on transferring our technology as a platform based startup. Uh, so, uh, this is about. Thank you, Shivam. Shivam, I'm really very sorry, but we cannot continue further. Okay, uh, thank you for the presentation. Okay, we'll get back to you. We'll get back to you okay, later. Sir, thank okay, you. thank you. Thank you. Hi, 
हाय अर्शद अर्शद प्लीज अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ Yeah, I I think you are able to see my screen and hear. Listen me now. Please go ahead. Three minutes. Sure. Yeah. Uh, hi, this is uh, Harshad, founder of Evical uh, Mobility. We are uh, automotive tech company involved in design of design and development of uh, commercial EVs and EV subsystem. Uh, we are a team of three co-founders: myself, Harshad, Shikant, and Sanjay. Uh, I have a total six plus years of experience working with lithium-ion battery technology as well as uh, EV powertrains. Srikant and Sanjay have uh, two, more than two decades of exper experience and expertise working in automotive industry. Uh, we our focus area is into the commercial vehicle domain, and uh, as we interacted with various players, right from end user to the uh, EV OEMs, we uh, we pointed uh, there are three main uh, pain points: for range anxiety, uh, finance, insurance, servicing, and performance related issues. For a range anxiety, there have been multiple uh, uh, multiple uh, approaches like bigger bit battery size, fast charging, and swappable uh, battery. But there it has their own drawbacks. Similarly, for uh, financing uh, side, uh, there is always overloading of this vehicle, which results into the faster degradation of battery, and that's why the financing companies are a bit reluctant to finance such type of vehicle. And last but not the least, the per performance perception of electric vehicles. So we came up with our three products and services. Well, first is our we have developed complete uh, three wheeler electric cargo platform with a one single single charge range of two hundred up to two hundred kilometer with a five hundred kg payload. And we also have developed the few uh, two critical subsystems, namely the range extender, which gives additional twenty five to thirty kilometer uh, range on demand without de degrading the performance of the vehicle and we also have developed the vehicle control unit which is again a brain of uh, any electric vehicle not just a commercial three wheeler or four wheeler and uh, we also have filed a couple of uh, ips uh, which will help uh, the financer to mod monitor how much payload the vehicle is carrying out and we also have filed the patent for range extender uh, so far we have uh, uh, we have built couple of prototypes this is our latest prototype which is a pre production for a three wheeler platform we already have developed the uh, mvps for uh, vcu and range extender and currently we are testing it uh, on road we have completed uh, more than 500 kilometers of road testing for this subsystem as well as our uh, entire vehicle platform this particular prototype that we have developed a year back it's uh, there in i create uh, campus our go to market strategy is uh, we will be going ahead. Uh, we are, we will be working with uh, uh, multiple OEMs and license our existing three-wheeler electric platform. Uh, the market is very huge in India itself. There are 350 plus EV OEMs. If you uh, if you keep like five four to five percent big OEMs, others do not have the capability to uh, technically develop such a complex product and subsystem. Then uh, once the VCU uh, production VCU is ready, the production VCU prototype is ready, we will be reaching out to the OEMs for the VCU. And same is the case uh, with the range extender that we will be directly selling it to the EV o OEM. So, so far we have got a traction for uh, three-wheeler licensing. We have uh, two, uh, we have in on negotiation to uh, table with two EV o v o OEMs for licensing. And uh, similarly for range extender and uh, VCU, we are already getting some interest from uh, various EV OEMs. So far, we have put 90 lakh uh, of fund, including the friends and family bootstrapping and uh, government grants. We are currently uh, we are currently incubated at iCreate and Sign. Uh, our ask is 1.5 CR, which will be utilized for uh, subsystem level homologation, customer pilots, uh, and a vehicle licensing purpose. So thanks. I will stop here. Thank you so much, Arshad. Uh, you can log off now. Thank you for the presentation. We'll get back to you later. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Uh, Ashish, please let, let the next one in, which is uh, uh, startup number 13, Elon Motors, in, in your sheets. 13, Elon Motors. Yeah. Tagubir? Tagubir. Yeah, I, I just got promoted. I'm sharing my screen. Please share your screen here. Three minutes, okay? Please quickly finish. Yes. Thanks. Is it visible? Yes, go ahead. Yeah, very good afternoon, everyone. So 
We are from Elon Motors Engineering Private Limited, so that might sound familiar with Elon Musk. Yeah, he, he has been inspiration, but to be honest, our brand name is Orita Electric Utility Bikes. So our whole vision was to move people and cargo for last mile connectivity. So we're an incubator startup at IKEA. So vision has been simple to create uh, utility-based products, which means some cargo carrying capacity and, and ride and look so that the usability gets highly increased. So the team of four co-founders, myself and three other co-founders, plus we have a strategic partnership through RTO, who has been our factory partner. We have created the technology incubator and a couple of advisors, Jetin and Hethel, and different domains of business. So the product which was started commercialized was a purpose-built electric utility vehicle. It is modular, customizable, and upgradable as per the rider needs. In short, the bike can carry maximum 130 kg payload and up to 310 kg payload using some trailer kind of accessories. We have a cumulative volume of max 240 liters only on bike. We have a battery range options from minimum 45 to max 180 with a dual battery variant. And the bike best case can be used for 300 plus combinations using our multiple accessories and upgrade options. Now the sweet, sweet spot was the running cost per kilometer, which is eight paisa compared to any other form factor of electric vehicles. The bike has capable batteries, uh, highly targeted to our last mile deliveries. It's a multi-utility bikes. Even in delivery, there are different segments which we're trying to cater, like the high cargo, less range segments like e-commerce plus low cargo, high range segments like the hyperlocal. So it's, and there is a small share of market, which is family audience. And the first picture is kind of a family audience bike from kids to uh, females as well as any, any age group can ride. Whereas on the other side was more on the commercial form factor. The product market fit as I was trying to convey, it's anybody and everybody who's trying to move people and cargo for last mile connectivity. These are the various segments. In short, the whole last mile and e-commerce segment and the hyper-local segment plus some parts of the intra warehouse or intra factory or campus movements and a very small portion of family audience. Uh, what we've achieved as of today, we sold around 100 bikes starting from June 2020, we launched the product. After crowdfunding, we started commercially delivering the products in March 2021 and sold 100. We tied it in different segments in B2B space for last mile delivery, in B2G space as a touring bike, B2C through distribution. Uh, we have tried to rent out these bikes. So after working out all the models and where the bike is perfectly fitting, we completely updated the bike and the launched the reversion recently in 2020. So there are a couple of OEMs. Hero Electro is a big brand. A lot of people know there, there are a few other brands coming. But to be honest, we are the person who launched this form factor in eCycle for the first time in India in 2020 zone. Uh, highly ranked as the best cargo bike currently in the market by various independent YouTubers and media houses. A glimpse of a few of the customer segments which already delivered as a family bike. This will depict on how the application has been. We, we have done some samples to Europe where we are, go, we are, we are getting high traction from Europe. We are testing that market and this is a perfect example of one of our customers based out of Mumbai, how we are trying to deliver errands with 120 plus kilometer range every day. Uh, so it, it's one bike for multiple, multiple applications. The reason being cycle itself has very less utility. We're trying to maximize it through design, through powertrain and through various combinations so that we can cater segments as well as the applications can be increased. Uh, very important thing was recently with Mahindra Logistics Limited, we have gone through a six month journey through their catapult program. The team is also here luckily. So we, we partnered with them with a strategic technology partnership. They developed something specifically for them for their intra warehouse movement. So we're developing more products for Mahindra. So that, that has been our vision to create products for last mile connectivity and moving cargo. Few glimpse Mahindra took one of few of our bikes. They're already consuming our bikes for last mile delivery. Uh, this is a leadership team, Ram sir and other, other, other teammates. The what we have achieved in the, in the entire catapult journey was we were able to save around 1.8 lakhs per every e-bike deployed cumulatively in three years, which is resulting in 15% to 20% per packet delivered in, in an Amazon kind of use case for Mahindra, so which has been a huge saving for them. Plus on the sustainability side, it's average three tons of carbon emissions have been saved on a lifetime for every e-bike deployed. I mean, this has been the major 
business case the biggest challenge has been scooters motorbikes are, are already been accepted by public for last for long riding we are trying to convince cycle as a form factor with a custom geometry ergonomics and the power train that it can also address few of the segments where you can eliminate scooter and use cycles which is even cheaper compared to that form factor because each delivery has cost has to be reduced and we need more and more solutions for each segment the market for e-cycle compared to the automobile is very nascent um, export is the huge market but following that trend india india is still going it, it is assumed with the next financial will be having around 2 lakhs units per annum our journey financially has been started in 2018 full time received various grants at various stages of product development and finally raised fund through a strategic partner fpo uh, currently we make around 150 to 250 units a month we are trying to scale up to 500 a month by march on the road map we want to move people and cargo we started with two wheeler form factor we have multiple variants coming we have a three wheeler form factor and our development for higher volume and higher payload use cases we have technology stacks already being developed which we integrate further once once they have been ready this is small elixir the form factors which i have been speaking which we have been working on we keep on filing multiple design and utility patents on various form factors uh, we have been ranked as the best tv available in india in this segment better than hero in terms of design perspective feasibility perspective mm. so we are looking to expand in coming year in the right time i am looking to partner with as many people as possible anyone interested please reach out to us we got multiple applications and partnerships feasible thanks a lot and icrate has been supporting us really long you can see the journey and thanks to icrate again thank you so much raghuveer thank you so much you can log off the now from the uh, uh, meeting the next one i would like to call in is uh, hello dr saya good afternoon sir hello can you hear me now we can hear you sir can you please share your screen and start your presentation yeah my give me a minute please sure can you see my screen now can you see my screen yes, yes please go ahead you have right. 5 minutes sir please please close in 5 minutes right not a problem okay fine uh, hello everybody um, this is uh, dr prabhagran uh, founder ceo of uh, inventus bioenergy now called inventus battery energy technologies and i'm i'm now trying to really uh, give a pitch on the different totally a different uh, um, the topic of interest for the world it's a solid state battery and uh, the technology is patented and uh, this this particular technology is one of which from the from from the same technology that i'm talking about which is called air fueled uh, uh, solid state uh, cassette technology for non stop ev applications so if you could see this uh, company's uh, portfolio is uh, 2020 we launched this company and myself carrying uh, over 35 years of experience in this field and uh, we are a wholesome uh, technology company for creating technologies and uh, licensing technologies to the ev world and uh, one of which is that today's pitching is on the part of what you call air fueled uh solid state battery technology is uh, grooming and uh, will have a market share of almost one uh, almost uh, 3.4 billion in 2030 and um, we are trying to really pitch on that and a very handful of companies are uh, bidding for it right so india this is the first technology in india and uh, we have patented and granted and uh, foreign filing has been uh, done and what you could see here is the uh, schematics of this and this uh, purple line the one which i bordered is called a uh, protected lithium cassette which means that lithium metal based solid state battery which is yielding almost uh, 510 watt kilowatt whatever per kilogram of energy density which is so huge compared to 200 to 210 whatever per kilogram of the silicon based uh, uh, conventional liquid electric technology of today all right so i'm going to basically talk about it 
this technology is a cassette technology. Imagine that you have a car and this is a battery is en uh, enabled in the battery in the, in the car and you don't have a catalyte there. That means you don't have a car, the cathode. The cathode is our air and a, a free air uh, from our atmosphere. And one side of which is basically a lithium metal solid state electrolyte cassette is there. That cassette, which what you, what you could see here is the one which I'm going to show the prototype uh, shortly from now. This is basically something like a CD-ROM being removed from our, uh, in a computer. And uh, once this lithium is utilized, the cassette can be removed and uh, new cassettes can be enabled, keep driving. So, which means that you don't have uh, any wait time and there is no fuel except that uh, lithium. Lithium is acting as a fuel here. And uh, this is the same cassette can be sent back to the OEM shop or retail shop in a petrol station. Can you get it exchanged with a solid electrolyte cassette? That means solid electrolyte is your investment and lithium is your fuel. So you get to pay for only for the fuel. This is analogously similar to the gas cylinder in our house where we, we pay for the cylinder as a deposit and we get to pay only for the gas every time the, gas, the cylinder is exchanged. So air comes here and uh, lithium is basically sitting right here and which is basically a, a, a protected, that is our inno, innovation and invention and the patent, patent uh, grant. And uh, what happens is when lithium uh, dissoluted and the air reacted and uh, you get a beautiful energy and the energy of the O2, which is coming from air is almost close to the gasoline's energy density. And that's why world is looking forward to have lithium air and lithium sulfur batteries beyond lithium ion. And this is, uh, uh, this is our board and uh, myself and the co-founder, uh, Dr. Silva Michael and the CFO and Professor Sankar Narayanan is our, uh, uh, one of the board member and advisor and Professor Ajit Kulkarni from IIT Bombay and Professor Sankar Narayanan from IIT Madras. And uh, this is the technology portfolio. Am I, is my slide moving? Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm in uh, indigenous technology portfolio. We have, uh, as I mentioned, we have a wholesome battery technology company and creating technologies and uh, indigenous technologies, and uh, we are licensing into various companies, and in which we have a lithium ion conventional uh, cell chemistry, all variants of uh, NMC, LFP, NCA, and uh, LTO technology as well. And uh, we have uh, advanced uh, solid state battery technology, which I'm talking right now. And uh, one portion of the solid state technology is my uh, today's presentation, as a matter of fact. And we have a cathode material technology because we are into creating a supply chain, which is a very important thing for the country, for India, because all these uh, powders are being imp imported and from China, and therefore we are creating a local supply chain. And therefore our technology, patented technologies on powder creation or powder making technology with the, with the, uh, with the maximum of five kilo, kilowatt hour, that is 10,000 tons per, uh, per annum is our capacity pro to produce. And uh, our uh, current achievement is the patents on both lithium ion and uh, the supercapacitors and also the campers. And current engagement is, uh, we can't disclose the company name. One is in Gujarat, one is in uh, DRC, that is, uh, you know, Congo, uh, where uh, we are setting up a pilot for LFP in India and NMC 811 for uh, the Congo manufacturer, who are, uh, who are a minor, Indian miner in, in Congo. All right, so this is the patent portfolio, uh, several patents, and this is the particular patent I'm talking about, granted in uh, 2021, December 2021, and quite recently, and uh, this is basically your uh, PCT filing. And yes, this is the cassette I'm talking about. You can see that the white portion, that is the, the green, forget about the green, uh, the tabletop, the white layer, the white portion, the circle, the coin, one side of the, one side of the coin is filled with lithium metal, and it is completely protected. So lithium metal is an anode and uh, the uh, copper uh, is the uh, protection. And uh, this is sitting onto the, the, what you call the white layer, which is called solid electrolyte, lithium conducting solid electrolyte with a, with a liquid electrolyte conductivity of 10 to the power minus three Siemens per centimeter, which is very, very good with the transference number one. Now, other side of the coin can be do with can be done with anything. Can be filled with the conventional NMC or uh, uh, air or sulfur. So this technology, which I am talking uh, today with the pitching. I'm sorry to interrupt, that, sir. Hello, uh, yeah. Dr. Ravagar, I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, any specific slide that you would like to mention because run, we are running out of time. Right, right. That, that's that's okay. Last Fine. I'm just done with it. Uh, so last this is the uh, cassette. And uh, one side, this is what they call the cassette can be put in. This is something like a CD-ROM. 
and uh, this can be replaced. So when lithium is depleted on driving uh, 300, 300 kilometers per, per cassette, and once it, this is depleted on the dashboard, we can see the, uh, you know, the fuel guard will indicate whether the lithium is still there or not. And you can sign the car, uh, press a button, bring out, bring out the cassette and uh, load the new cassette and keep driving. So that's a concept. And uh, this is our solid electrolyte, uh, indigenous uh, solid electrolyte layers, which is as good as the, uh, the polymer separator that we are being used in the not the conventional lithium, lithium batteries, lithium ion batteries. And uh, this is your, uh, you know the demonstration of how per, per single cell is basically able to really provide so with the very low lithium loading this is called lithium seeding technology and this is our solid state cell technology which is lithium metal with the nmc uh, conventional advanced this, this thing it's already completed uh th almost thousand cycles and uh, with the capacity retention of 94 percent which is very very important compared to the conventional nmc cells which is in red you can see that so okay. I believe Thank that you, I'm done with it. Uh, it's a it's a it's a uh, bigger call. Uh, but my my point point here is that this is a technology for the future, and we need to basically take it to the two uh, that is TRL seven to TRL nine, and the current status is TRL seven. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir, uh, for the presentation. You can log off from the meeting now. We shall uh, get back to you later. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Hello. Hello, uh, Anju. Hello, you all technologies. Am I audible now? Yes, yes, Anju, you are audible. I request you to share your screen and start the presentation. You can yeah, finish sure. within three to five minutes. Thank you. Yeah. Is it visible, my screen? Is my screen visible? Yes, yes. visible, please go ahead. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, I'll finish in within three minutes. It's not a uh, problem. So hello, everyone. Uh, because I was not uh, uh, aware, like, OK, I can present uh, uh, slides also. So these slides are just prepared uh, uh, 15 minutes before only. So hello, everyone. Greetings from Evolve Technologies. I'm Dr. Anju Meghwani, completed my PhD uh, from IIT Kanpur and master from IIT Bombay. I have a 12 plus years experience in power electronic industry. Uh, I started this um, Evolve Technologies in April 2022 uh, when I noticed the need of a secure, reliable and a smart chargers for two uh, and three wheeler applications. Uh, battery is a uh, a heart of electric vehicle. Just like we eat healthy and uh, exercise regularly to keep going, in a similar way, battery also needs quality energy and appropriate charge level to keep its body running. In India till now, two dozens of two electric, uh, electric two-wheelers caught fire. Considering India as the biggest market for electric two-wheelers and three-wheelers, Incidences like this may slow down the rate of EV adoption and also question on its reliability and safety. On investigating these accidents, experts identify three main culprits, which are poor quality battery cells, charger, and missing communication between these two. Most of the existing chargers in the market have single charging profile, which only depends upon the battery voltage and its capacity. But in country like India, with the extreme weather condition, which varies from minus 4 degrees Celsius to 54 degrees Celsius over a geographical area, these type of charges are not appropriate. One cannot use the same charger in summers and winters. Moreover, EVs should not be charged with the same 
charge the profile immediately after its rough usage. The EV usage is uh, varies with the EV user. So uh, this may, uh, if we use the same charges, this may explode the uh, electric vehicle or deteriorate its life cycle. In addition to this, charger should identify the unhealthy and damaged battery. And instead of charging, it should immediately raise the alarm. Here at Evolve Technologies, we are trying to uh, build a charger for a long run for EV two and three wheeler applications, which only energize, which not only energize the heart of EV, but also monitor its health. Our charger is liable, smart, and adapt, reliable, smart enough to adapt itself according to the environmental operating and battery usage condition. The technology will, we built is 100% indigenous and which makes it feasible for quick customization and better integration support for customers. Our future plan is to operate the business with a B2B model where the customer target customers will be the battery manufacturers and EV manufacturers. At present, the product is in development state and we are planning to deploy it in the field in December 2022. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Anju, for the presentation. Uh, uh, we shall get back to you later. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Okay, thank you. You can log off from the meeting now. Ashish. Sure. Uh, uh, Dr. Rashi? Hi, uh, Dr. Rashi is not present today, so I am another director of this company, so I'll take Sure, uh, I request you to please share your screen and start the presentation. You have uh, four to five minutes to complete the same. Thank you. Yeah. So we are Smart Force Technologies Private Limited. We are from IIT Hyderabad. So we are three uh, directors. Uh, I am Sourdi Shahu, uh, doing PhD from IIT Hyderabad, and Dr. Rashid S. and Amit uh, Sadia working in IIT Hyderabad. So uh, to start with, uh, actually we are working on battery management system. So already know there are several opportunities in the Indian market as uh, this is heavily populated and also uh, there are uh, several uh, initiatives from government. So we targeted uh, bat battery management system uh, for electric vehicles uh, and there are several incidents of uh, bat battery cost fire. Uh, so how to deal with that from that thought we started uh, working on it. So our vision is to provide the technology solutions uh, of processing challenges of climate change and population uh, pollution and foster shift towards green and renewable energy. So we basically want to develop a state of the art post safety indigenous real time and IoT oriented battery management system to cater the renewable energy market. Uh, the BMS ensures safe and reliable usage of a battery um, and provides the real time battery state monitoring parameters for green energy. And there are several applications, uh, even without uh, electric vehicles, uh, there are 
applications like uh, for uh, satellite application and where our energy harvesting is being used, so we can use uh, battery management system. So uh, there are several companies who are working on this, but uh, all are talking about uh, safety, uh, pro providing safety for battery applications. But all the safety are coming based on assessment of uh, battery state. So we are focused on the battery state estimation. There are states called state of charge, state of health, state of power, and state of function. Based on those, we can assess the uh, state of safety of the battery. So basically, GMS is an electronic system which controls and monitors the battery's critical state, health, and other aspects of operation. So the full GMS solution is given here. We can say um, based on this. Uh, Sensing, we can sense the uh, voltage, current, and temperature of battery or battery pack, and based on those data, we can estimate the state. And so, uh, based on the estimation of states, we can uh, control the charge balancing or power uh, heat management. We can do, we can do fault analysis, and also all this operation uh, result of this operation can be communicated to your ITC, and we can. Uh, give uh, interface for users to access this data and use for other uh, purposes. We already are the finalists uh, of Sabeti Microsoft Challenge in MIT 2020. Uh, our BMS is highly accurate, real time battery monitoring and aging prediction it can provide, and it is programmed and tested on indigenous safety microprocessors. Uh, we are trying to make it modular as much as possible so that uh, for different applications it can be a plug and play uh, matter plug and play so it is also compact uh, compact and uh, safety reliability and uh, for, for the uh, ease of our, uh, portability we are trying to make it small also it is low power of course uh, for any uh, application and also cost effective so there are several customer segments we have found like uh, on, in research and development uh, it can be used for battery producers who are designing electric vehicle and uh, general purpose battery model uh, they can use uh, also power grid and uh, charging station electronic system design manufacturing industry they can use or uh, battery management system. So there are uh, several well-known uh, players in the market like SC Microelectronics, Infineon, Texas, and NXP Semiconductor. So we are taking this as uh, the benchmark and we are trying to uh, give better solution uh, in, uh, in, in compared to the existing solutions in the market. So this is our team. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, you can log off from the meeting now. We shall discuss internally and get back to you later. Yeah, thank you so much. Hi Akash. Uh, hello. Hi Himang. Am I audible? Yes, you are audible. Good to see you after a long time. Uh, yeah, yeah. Same <laughs> here. Uh, uh, please. Uh, Thank you for I, this opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Pleasure. Pleasure. I request you to please share your screen and you can present. Sure. So uh, I think the time is short. Uh, yes. I I want to make it more uh, for discussion uh, rather than presenting because uh, uh, the slides and videos are long. So hello, hello everyone. Myself Akash Gupta, uh, co-founder and CEO at Clean Electric. So Clean Electric was founded in 2016, and we have started full-time operation from 2020. So it's been almost two and a half years. Uh, we have been building advanced uh, energy storage solutions for uh, electric vehicles as well as energy storage. And uh, since the West, and if we talk about US and European market. They have gone after solving for range. So, we have created my 
we believe it is a different market and we need a different solution to solve the needs and uh, we we need vehicle evs electric vehicles uh, which can be charged quickly so that the problem of range anxiety is solved and uh, the fast charging should not come at a price of a safety or as a using costly chemistries like which are almost 800 dollar per kilowatt hour rather than it should be and should not compromise on cycle life basically so a uh, clean electric has developed a patent we have five patents around our battery technology and these are based on direct liquid cooled system versus indirect liquid cooling which is used in tesla or vivian or uh, general motors or any oem globally so in this country Uh, we want to embrace this liquid cooled technology, and uh, we have already completed pilot Akash. with uh, several OEM. Akash, yeah. Akash, I request you to please uh, uh, yeah, turn yeah. off your video. Uh, it, it is taking some bandwidth. Okay. And okay. please repeat the yeah. uh, last uh, uh, two three lines that you have been speaking. We lost you. Uh, right now. I just, uh, i will say top 5 uh, ev players in two wheeler and three wheeler industry and uh, uh, we are getting into the second step which is uh, we have already had am i audible now sorry i think some network issue uh, am yes, i audible? audible yes you are now audible please quickly uh, i will just for... take one more minute yeah yeah yes. sure so uh, we have started pilots uh, uh, with uh, some top uh, ev oems and right now we are submitting the battery to ari uh, for uh, revised uh, certification and we are planning both phase 1 and phase 2 uh, together uh, this month so we will be the first battery maker in the country to get the uh, certification as per the revised guidelines on uh, we are setting up the battery manufacturing and automated battery plant which will be operational from this year and we will be able to uh, produce 3000 battery pack of my city and we have a very stellar founding team from iit bhu iit mandi iit rodki and uh, uh, and we look forward to partnering with you we can get into further details uh, on how we can uh, collaborate in different ways we just closed an institutional round and we will be looking for series a in times to come in the next uh, 8 to 10 months thank you okay thank you so much akash uh, for the same uh, uh, we shall get back to you later sure thank you thanks a lot okay. pleasure being here yeah Hi everyone. Good afternoon. I am Rahul Lamba, co-founder of the Energy Company. I hope my screen is visible to all. I am. Uh, yes, the screen is visible. I I request you to please introduce yourself again. Sure. Hi everyone. I am Rahul. I am the co-founder of the Energy Company. It's nineteen. And great. Nineteen. And great. And great. Okay. And great. Yes. Please right. go ahead. You have five minutes for the presentation. Sure. Thank you. So just to give you a background about what we are building, so we are building battery-enabled SaaS platform for mobility and grid applications. To give you a background about our team, so collectively the founding team has more than twenty years of experience in the field of electric vehicle product development. Where one of the co-founders was part of founding team for Aether Energy, 
and I'm coming from a strong experience of battery design for leading battery manufacturers. We also have a very strong advisor who is helping us in building marketplaces. And we have four more engineers and interns helping us in the field of product development. The problem we identified is that only 10% Indians are willing to buy an electric vehicle in the near future. And it all comes, comes down to batteries because batteries are underperforming. But the only problem which is being called out and highlighted multiple times is in terms of charging time. But that is not the only problem. In addition to the charging time concern, the second big problem is that the life cycle of these batteries is 40% lesser than the vehicle life itself. Batteries are highly inconsistent in terms of their performance and in terms of their estimates for distance to empty. And because of recent fire incidents, electric vehicles are perceived risky, which leads to 100% higher financing rates and poor resale value. This is where we started developing a solution, which is Flexi. It's a hardware plus digital twin battery system, which integrates physically and digitally with the vehicle. The physical hardware product, which is the battery pack, gets fast charge in 15 minutes and gives a life which is twice in comparison to competition. And the digital twin battery Aadhaar, it is a cloud platform, which is digitizing all the information about how these batteries were created, developed in the first place throughout its whole journey uh, towards the end of the life cycle. Now, this helps us in personalizing the right experience and providing insights back to multiple stakeholders. And it also helps us in getting a transparent asset value for seamless financing and a better resale of an old electric vehicle product. In terms of traction, so we have deployed our prototypes with three anchor customers, Lighting Logistics, Vogo, and Pi B. We have got more than five customers for the next phase. We have integrated our product with more than five charges. And one of the biggest USPs of our product is that the product can be fast charged across all these five different charges using the same hardware product. So we are not relying on any proprietary charging connectors or protocols. And we have got LOIs for more than 500 batteries, which we will start deploying from next quarter onwards. Our revenue model is pretty straightforward. On day one, we sell out our batteries and we get some gross margins. Post switch, we operate as a SaaS player, where we add value to multiple stakeholders. And towards the end of life, we buy back our old batteries up to 20% of the selling price and we sell it at 40% in second life stationary storage applications. And in terms of customer profiles, initially we are tapping into vehicle operators, which are fleet operators and battery as a service providers. And from 24 onwards, we will be selling it directly to EV manufacturers and EV startups. We have got introductions to our initial customers, which are fleet operators, to begin our conversation directly with vehicle OEMs. And the progress from our side is that we recently closed our initial pre-seed round. We are planning to take our product and complete its certification by February, and we'll be starting our production from April onwards. We have filed for one patent till now, and three more are in the pipeline. We are also incubated at IAM Bangalore, and we have a tech partnership with VIT Chennai. And in terms of funding, so since the first round, which was 600K, is already closed, in the next round, we are raising 2 million USD as growth capital. That's all from our side. Uh, we would love to have a follow on conversation in case anyone is interested for. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rahul, for the presentation. Uh, we shall discuss internally and shall get back to you later on. Sure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Shish. Quant. Hi, Prashant. I think it was a teammate, but I think it was a
hello i'm audible hi rajat uh, uh, can you share your screen we have 3 minutes sure sure just give me a minute i have started sharing my screen i hope it is visible to you it is visible please complete in 3 minutes yeah sure uh, my name is rajat yadav i am from edith technologies we provide a range of products and software cloud services for two wheelers three wheelers and four wheelers electric vehicles and energy storage systems including the battery management system and ev charger the the first product we offer is a battery management system for two wheelers and three wheelers it's a smart battery management system with can enable protocol and uh, with this uh, smart battery management system we use an iot and atx device which is 2g and 4g capable with gps capability and it captures the data from the bms and throws over the cloud where that data is further used for the atx purpose and to protect the battery life and along with that protection we also offer various services for our fleet operators like uh, like the geo fencing of the electric vehicles uh, deployed in uh, deployed over the region and uh, uh, locating each and every electric vehicle or battery pack deployed the percentage of soc and various other functionalities along with this web application hardware we also offer a mobile uh, application for the configuration of bms as per the end usage depending upon the oem of battery pack and the electric vehicle uh, there are various uh, unique selling point of our battery management system which includes the affordability for two wheelers and three wheeler segments and stackability up to for four wheelers for 400 volt uh, electric vehicle and it definitely supports different battery chemistries and it is completely iot enabled for G, uh, uh, for the gs and gsm and we have a different variant for industrial application for energy storage and it is combos for battery swapping because it it encompasses a technology of uh, hot swapping the second product we offer in second the segment is an ac electric vehicle charger for two wheelers three wheelers and four wheelers we have uh, the capacity from uh, 3.3 kilowatt up to 21 kilowatt and along with these uh, ac chargers we couple the iot uh, iot device which uh, which is coupled with this electric vehicles and uh, can be con- these ev chargers can be controlled using the mobile application which we offer with uh, the uh, with these ev charger and we also have a a business analytics tool for ev charging ecosystem where he can the charge op- uh, charge point operator can manage complete or its business and see how many stations are up how re- how much revenue has been generated per average uh, in month b and several several other parameters after uh, that's it from my side Okay thank you Rajat uh, uh, if there is anything we'll get, we'll get back to you later on thank you for the presentation sure thank you yeah thank you